from extreme sports to breathtaking views. Stay tuned to number one to find out 10 of the most amazing things you can only experience in the winter. Number 10, the classics. While it may be true that this list is meant to emphasize the out-of-this-world things you can do in the winter around the world, there are some basic things that you can do in any place that has snow. The classics, ladies and gentlemen. Like what? How about building a snowman? Or building a giant snowman? Yeah, it's fun stuff, and you can dress them up and make cool stuff out of them, and more. Or how about a snowball fight? There's a worldwide tradition right there. Who doesn't love chucking snowballs at friends and family members in order to make them scream in pain? I mean, to have them enjoy the thrill of the fight. Yeah, that's it. And for the younger kids, there's always making snow angels or going sledding on nearby hills, or attaching your dog to a sled and having them take you around town like a real sled dog. It's good stuff, and all you need is a little snow to do these things. Location doesn't matter. That is why the classics never go out of style. Number 9. Ice Sailing Okay, we've all heard of ice skating, right? Well, in the state of Michigan, in fact right on Lake Michigan, they decided to take this classic activity and crank it up to 11, because they made the sport of ice sailing popular. How does this work? Well, not exactly like you think. You can't just take a regular boat and go sailing out on the ice. Rather, you have to make a custom ice rocket that allows you to cut and glide across the ice at impressive speeds. In fact, the top speed of these craft are around 60 miles per hour, which is pretty good for a non-powered boat. The fun doesn't end there, though. Michigan actually has their own club for this sport, and it has over 2,000 people in it. Yeah, there are a bunch of people who love going ice sailing, and the appeal is definitely there. Granted, you need to know that the place you're ice sailing on is solid, which is why this takes place on Lake Michigan, for when that thing freezes, you know it's solid. Number 8. Heli Skiing Before we talk about this extreme sport, take a moment to click the like button on this video and then join the Zero to Hero community by subscribing below. Don't forget about that little notification bell either. This will ensure that you always stay up to date with our latest videos. Skiing and snowboarding are definitely some classics of winter season, but you need a place with serious elevation to actually enjoy the experience. But if you're looking for an extreme, adrenaline-inducing experience that'll take your skiing or snowboarding to the next level, then head to Idaho, where they have heli-skiing. What is that? Well, it's not you skiing or snowboarding with a helicopter, I can tell you that. Rather, you go up in a helicopter and jump out of it to begin your descent down to the base of the mountain. Sun Valley Heli Ski pioneered American helicopter skiing, setting the standard for nearly five decades, Sun Valley Heli explained on its website. A vast territory covering three mountain ranges provides unparalleled access to Idaho's legendary powder and terrain for all abilities. While that makes it sound like it's epic for sure, you have to wonder how safe it is. After all, you're jumping out of a helicopter just to make an epic entrance onto a mountain slope. But the catch is that the areas they take you to are places rarely shredded. Thus, it'll be almost like a truly unique experience. But yes, avalanches can certainly be a concern. As can the cost. That being said, these rides are $1,500 per day. Number 7. Waterfall Climbing the reason that there are certain things you can only do in the winter is simple, because at times, you need the water to freeze in order to have the tools necessary for the experience. For example, you can only ice skate if a lake, pond, or pool is frozen. Likewise, you can't climb a waterfall unless it's frozen. Wait, you can climb a waterfall, you ask? Yes. Yes, you can. But you need to be trained in order to do it successfully. Thus, there are multiple institutes around the United States that train you in this skill. There's one in California, which seems like an odd place, and another in Colorado. You might think that this kind of training isn't necessary, but it is. Waterfall ice, as it's called, is a bit different from regular ice, and if you aren't ready for it, you'll get hurt, and no one wants that. But once you're ready, you'll have a climbing story that few will get to say they've done. Number 6. Ice Fishing in Alaska 
Okay, technically, this is one you can do outside of Alaska, and there are many northern states and countries that offer this when the temperatures and settings are right, but if you go to Alaska, they'll take care of you in a fun way. For they'll take you out on a full-on tour of the Alaskan River, and not just let you ice fish, but provide you with a warm cabin to call your own, as well as pre-prepared food so that you don't have to worry about catching anything on your tours should you not be so lucky. Not to mention, winter in Alaska is very beautiful and you'll see some incredible once-in-a-lifetime sights. Number 5. Snow Golfing I kid you not, this is real. And it happens in Sweden. Usually the winter season is the end game for golfing in most places on Earth, but not in Sweden. They not only have snow golfing, they praise it as a great invention of theirs. Summer golf has been here since the 1930s, but we wanted to do something for the winter time. Maria Bergwall, marketing and sales manager for Lapland Resorts, told CNN, We have nine holes and we use snow plows that we usually use on the slopes to smooth the course. For $50, you can run the course. You can even do nighttime golfing, and should you do that, they'll give you glow-in-the-dark golf balls to hit. Number 4. Antarctica Marathon Antarctica is one continent that is both revered and feared. It holds many wonders and secrets that we don't know about, but we do know that it's cold. Really cold. And because of that, people try to go to the uncharted continent in order to prove their mettle and show that they can do things that others can't. So should we really be surprised that there is a marathon on Antarctica? I don't think so. Adventure marathoners and ultra-athletes are always looking for the next big challenge, the race's website reads. Mainland Antarctica represents the last frontier, the final great wilderness to be conquered. And now, adventure athletes like you can do it. Well, that's one way to say it. The race itself takes place in November and December, but it's costly. You'll need to have $17,500 just to get in. Number 3. Mount Everest and the Balloon Man loves challenges, and one of the biggest challenges ever conceived by man is to climb to the summit of Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. Kind of. It, it's a long story. Many have tried to do this and many have failed. Like, seriously, a vast majority fell. It's not even funny at times how much they fell, but some do succeed, and it takes grit, determination, and the will to push forward. But if you don't have that, or you don't want to risk passing away, yet you still want to get to the top of Mount Everest, there is a roundabout way you can do it, but only in the wintertime. For during that season, you can actually go up in a hot air balloon and reach the peak of Everest, and then go right over it as you float higher and farther into the sky. There are a few catches here that you need to know about. First, this is not a one-day experience. You'll have to be in Nepal for weeks preparing yourself for the journey. After all, you need to be ready for 30,000 feet in terms of height. The balloon trip will take a day, though. The other catch? It'll cost you over $4 million to take this trip. Best make sure your wallet can handle this before committing. Number 2. Husky Safari Ironically enough, Christmas isn't exactly famous for its animals. Granted, we partner up certain animals for the experience, such as what happens with the polar bears in the coat commercials, but there is one animal that most definitely is associated with Christmas. Reindeer. Despite their legendary ties to Santa Claus, some people actually believe that they don't exist. But in fact, they do. They just live in certain places on Earth, and thus most people don't get to see them. But if you go to Finland, not only can you see them and interact with them, you'll be guided to them by your very own sled dog team. One pulled by the legendary snow dog breed, the Siberian Husky. A husky safari is a truly thrilling experience, especially when you have the chance to be a musher in control of your own team of dogs. Experience the excitement of the dogs as they eagerly wait to pull you at a speedy pace through the breathtaking lapish scenery. Now, if that doesn't sound magical, I don't know what does. And more than that, meeting a reindeer has to be a truly unique and fun experience, and only $180 for a single day excursion. If you can make the trip, do it. Number 1. Ice Hotel No, not a nice hotel, an ice hotel. You know, where everything on the property is made of ice? Yeah, it's a real thing, and you can find it in the wintertime in Sweden. And guess what it's called? The Ice Hotel Sweden. So much creativity, am I right? 
Now, if you're from warmer climates and you don't like the cold, you might think, why would anyone want to go there? But guess what? This hotel is actually one of the most popular and sought after getaways for the wintertime. People really like it there, apparently. The ice itself comes from the river Torn, and they use the ice to make everything that goes into the hotel, including elegant ice sculptures. That's actually part of the entertainment, being able to see an exhibition of the ice sculptures and the like. But it's not just a hotel that you want to stay at, it's an experience. A place to discover silence, northern lights, glistening snow-clad forests, reindeer, cloudberries, kettle coffee, and much more, says the hotel's website. Granted, this is not a getaway everyone will enjoy, but if you're up for some ice, I mean, nice, fun, that you can't get anywhere else, then to Sweden you must go. What is your favorite thing to do in the wintertime? Let us know in the comments below and take care.